Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, just going to do a quick update today on DLDSR. The biggest issue that has come up in people trying to do the Holy Grail setup is not being able to access these uh, DSR factors in NVIDIA Control Panel. Um, there doesn't seem to be one specific reason or one specific solution, but there are several things that people have mentioned that they've tried that have worked, and so I want to share those with you. Um, the first one is uh, has to do with your NVIDIA driver. Um, updating your driver is an option. Um, I don't imagine that anybody has a driver that's old enough that it doesn't show up because the driver is so old, but it's possible. Um, and I've also seen people say that it won't show up for them with the game ready driver, but it does show up in the studio driver. Um, I tend to not think this is the big one uh, in terms of why DLDSR options don't show up, but trying uh, a different driver, trying an updated driver is an option and it has worked for some people. Um, the next one is game mode in Windows. If you just go into your start uh, settings here and you type game mode, you come up here. I have game mode on and DLDSR you know, shows up for me. Uh, some people have said that when they turned game mode off, that DLDSR now shows up in the video control panel. Um, game mode just kind of limits some of the background, you know, tasks that the computer does to, to leave more um, power, you know, more computing power, so to speak, for gaming. Um, turns off notifications, things like that. Um, so that's another option. The big one that seems to have been uh, helpful for a lot of people is changing your screen refresh rate. And this is for people that have um really high refresh rates on their screens and i think let's see um if you go into settings uh, which i was already at and display display settings and then you come down to advanced display now this is windows 11 so it might be slightly different in windows 10 um, you're going to have the option to choose a refresh rate. Um, I have a 60 hertz monitor, so I don't know why it's showing me 70 hertz as an option. But um, people with refresh rates above 144 hertz, uh, in other words, 165, people with 165 hertz refresh rates tend to be the ones that have this issue. Uh, and tend to have it resolved by lowering their refresh rate to 144. Um, or if it's at if it's at 144, try lowering it to 120. That might solve the issue for you. Um, There's very technical reasons for why this may or may not be the issue, um, but I think that's the most common one that has solved this for people is lowering your refresh rate on your monitor, uh, which is of course a compromise, but again, you know, uh, it may be worth it in the end. Um, the other thing is multiple monitors. People with multiple monitors have had issues getting DLDSR to show up. Now, if you have one view split across multiple monitors, um, that can be okay. If you're using multiple monitors for, like you have one monitor with Microsoft Flight Simulator, you have a second monitor with, uh, let's say, you know, Vatscope or uh, Volanta or NVIDIA um, Navigraph Charts, something like that. If you have multiple monitors with multiple different things on them, that can be an issue, which I don't know... Um, if there's a solution to, um, there is a setting called span displays with surround, um, which some people have either turned on or off. Um, 
in the multiple displays settings. Um, if you so if you have multiple displays and you have this issue, try turning on or turning off the span displays with surround setting and see if that happens. Uh, see if that helps. Um, another thing, I didn't even know this was a thing, but you can actually overclock your monitor um, in increments of like five hertz, and you can make your monitor. I I, I don't understand this. I'm not even going to pretend to try and explain it to you. If your monitor is overclocked. DLDSR may not show up. Um, that's another issue. Um, two final things, one of them being cable bandwidth. If uh, you're trying to push too much data through a cable that isn't capable of doing that, it may um, automatically turn off certain things. Uh, turn off certain options and because DLDSR upscales your uh, display, it might automatically disable that option because you're already pushing as much data as you can through your um, through your, your HDMI cable or whatever cable you're using. Um, you can try turning off HDR in that case. Uh, it may help. Um, and one last thing to do with cables, um, there, there's a new uh, display port um, setting uh, or, or uh, level called Display Point 1.4 Plus, um, which has something called uh, DSC, Digital Stream Compression. I don't know anything about this either, but there are people that have had issues with DisplayPort 1.4 Plus being enabled, um, and they can get like 240 hertz uh, refresh rates on their monitors. Um, in some monitors, you can use 1.4 without DSC enabled. Um, in which case your monitor's refresh rate will get uh, lowered from, you know, say 240 to 165 or 144. Um, but you will find this option in your monitor menu, like this, for example. Um, I don't even know what kind of monitor this is, but uh, like, so you would find your monitor settings. Uh, general and then input compatibility version you see here 1.4 DSC if you've got DSC enabled in your monitor settings and you change it to 1.4 without DSC that can also then uh, show the DSR factors in NVIDIA control panel um, so disabling that DSC um, will do the trick in some cases. And that's pretty much it. Those are a couple things that I've come across either in the comments that people have left saying, you know, I had an issue and I tried this and it worked. Um, so those are a couple things for you to try if you're having difficulty getting the DL, DSR, uh, or the DSR factors to show up on your uh, NVIDIA control panel. And once again, I hope you guys are doing well and we'll talk soon.